In the heart of London, a vibrant young life was abruptly cut short, leaving a community in shock and a nation in mourning. Today, we delve into the tragic murder of Damalola Taylor, an innocent 10-year-old boy whose life was taken far too soon. Filled with dreams of a better future, Damalola Taylor, a bright-eyed and ambitious young boy, had recently moved to the United Kingdom from Manchuria. But in November 2000, his life took a devastating turn. On the evening of November 27, 2000, Damalola Taylor left Peckham Library. He was seen by CCTV cameras at 4.51 p.m., unfortunately unaware of the tragic events that awaited him. As he approached the North Peckham estate, Damalola was attacked and suffered a deep gash to his left thigh, severing an artery. Grievously wounded, he managed to stagger towards a nearby stairwell, where he eventually collapsed. Despite the desperate circumstances, Damalola clung to life and was taken to the hospital. His valiant struggle came to a heartbreaking end as he passed away just 10 days before his 11th birthday. The news of Damalola's murder sent shockwaves through the community and ignited a desperate search for answers. In 2002, four youths, including two 16-year-old brothers, went on trial for Damalola Taylor's murder at the Old Bailey. However, all four suspects were acquitted. The judge ruled the prosecution's key witness unreliable, leading to two acquittals. The other two were found not guilty by the jury. The defense presented an expert witness who suggested Damalola's wounds were consistent with falling on a broken bottle during an attack, which was disputed by the prosecution. The investigation continued and in 2005, new DNA techniques revealed Damalola's blood on the trainers of Danny Charles Preddy and the sweatshirt cuff of his brother Ricky. In 2006, Hassan Jihad and the Preddy brothers were charged with manslaughter. In the subsequent trial, Jihad was cleared, while the jury couldn't reach a verdict on the Preddy brothers, leading to the possibility of a retrial. The retrial in 2006 resulted in the conviction of Ricky Preddy and Danny Preddy for the manslaughter of Damalola Taylor. They were sentenced to eight years in youth custody. Both brothers were released on parole in subsequent years, but faced recalls to prison for breaching parole conditions. Ricky Preddy was released again in July 2012. In the midst of grief and frustration, Damalola's tragedy became a catalyst for change. His family established the Damalola Taylor Trust, committed to providing support and opportunities for young people, ensuring that his legacy would bring hope to others. Damalola Taylor's bright spirit will forever shine in our hearts, and we must strive to honor his memory by fostering safer communities, promoting unity, and seeking justice for those whose lives are unjustly taken.